Alright people, welcome back, more Fake Card Friday. So today we are actually looking at a Cyber Dark card. Yes, yeah, someone actually decided to take the time to make a new card for Cyber Darks. You remember that archetype? No? Not really? Didn't really come much of it? And Cyber Dragons just kind of got more crap while Cyber Dark just fell into darkness? No pun intended? Yeah. So, this is Cyber Dark Apocalypse Dragon. It is a level 9 dark machine type monster, fusion effect, of course. With 3,100 attack and 2,100 defense. Ah, stats are pretty good. Made with one Cyber Dark monster plus one level 7 or higher dark. I mean, dragon type monster, obviously. So, uh, that should be possible. If you're pl playing a Cyber Dark deck, you of course know that Cyber Darks have synergy with dragons. So, 9 times out of 10, you're probably going to have uh, some kind of dragon to go ahead and equip to your Cyber Dark. So, there you go. Cyber Dark plus level 7 or higher. Uh, dragon type monster, whether that be, you know, combined with red eyes or blue eyes or whatever, it can be done. So, let's go ahead and look at text and see if it's worth actually making. So, it must be fused some with the above materials and cannot be special summoned by other ways. Alright, so, uh, you know, even if it's summoned and it gets killed, you can't call the haunted or soul charge it back, you know. Uh, it is a dark machine type, so, you know, you can go ahead and, uh, overload fusion, fusion it, so... You know, that makes it even easier. Just throw a uh, overload fusion and some uh and a cyber dark deck, you're probably gonna have some cyber darks in the grave, probably gonna have some dragons low seven or high in the grave, so bam, summon this. That's that's easy. That's really easy actually, so yep. Uh if this card is fusion summon, you banish all machine type monsters in the graveyard, and if you do, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of banished monsters times three hundred. Alright, well, I mean, it kind of prevents you from, you know, going into multiples of these, uh, just because you're going to be benching all your machines in the graveyard, and it includes all your cyber darks, I believe they're machines, so, yeah, they're gone, <laughs> they're gone, and depending on how many machines your opponent has in their graveyard, too, you get to go ahead and bench it, this is a mandatory effect, it's not optional, and then just burn your opponent for 300 times, you know, that could be a lot, that could be a little, it depends on what deck you're playing in, you know, you're just kind of, you know, splashing cyber darks in with a little bit of cyber dragon and some dragons, and, you know, you can burn for a lot, but if it's just plainly a cyber dark and you're just banishing all your cyber darks, then it's not going to be too much damage. But still, eh, mandatory burn effect. Alright. And the last effect. Unaffected by spells, traps, and by effects from any monster whose lo original level or rank is lower than this card's current level. Oh, okay, so let me get this straight. Tower got banned because it was so freaking stupid by this effect, and I know, you know, what about, uh, uh, I mean, I can't even remember the other one, the level 9, I know, it's I don't even remember, that, see, that's how much that he's not even played, I can't even remember his name, you know, I saw a couple of people who were trying to do that with Cleese, the Revival Cleese, trying to just play him instead of Towers, and this is only running, uh, one, one scout, yeah, it's not gonna work, it's not gonna work, you're inconsistent, and it's just not worth the effort, it's not worth the effort, uh, this is level 9 like that, and it's unaffected by any monsters whose little learning like is lower than this. So, uh, it lower. So it's still unaffected by uh, uh, anything that's eight or lower, and spells and traps. So that's pretty powerful. Really powerful. Really powerful. I mean, it still has the same weaknesses that pretty much Tower had. But you know, to be able to just bust this out with a with a simple overload fusion. It's kind of powerful, it really is. Uh, I mean, when you really look at it, you really can't compare the archetype of Cyber Darks to the archetype of Cleese, because Cleese just busted out with ease with the, you know, the pendulum summons and stuff like that, and the high kisses the searching anything with Scout. This, on the other hand, I mean, like I said, it's just simply just put Cyber Dark in the graveyard, put a dragon in the graveyard, there you go. So, and you get yourself a nice 3100, who's, you know, stronger than Towers, despite the whole minus 500 attack event uh, thing. It's unaffected by spells and traps, and any monster whose level original level rank is lower than this card. So yeah, uh, I think it's kind of ridiculous. I mean, you could probably could have done something different than just slapping on, you know, tower esque effect. I mean, it's just no. So let's go ahead and uh, read what the creator said about the card. So he said, "I had this card around and decided to look at it again. All right. Instead of the last effect." It originally summoned a machine type monster in a similar fashion to Renum, but I found this effect bland and boring. Then I thought about poor recently banned towers and realized it would be a nice to take a similar approach instead. Uh, instead, 
which would be fitting, flavorful, considering the name I had given to the card, Apocalypse. Alright, so instead of Apocalypse, it's Apocalypse. I mean, I mean, a Redem for Machines, that could, that could really spark up some interesting plays, you know? I, I, how is that boring? This is literally just a Towers clone. You know, and even with the Tower S clone that we have now, that's not even really being played. So, no, I mean, I don't think I don't think it's nice. I mean, Towers got banned for a reason because it was easy to summon, stupid to get over, and you know, in the right hands, this could do the exact same thing. Just you know, easy to summon, stupid to get over. I mean, I really don't find this creative as maybe the creator was thinking, but hey, that's just my opinion. So, he said some perks and trivia for going for his card. That's 3100 attack, and conveniently you can get over Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Alright, so you made it 3100, so just so I can get over Dark Destroyer. Because even the uh, Towers clone only has 29, so that's probably one of the reasons why no one's even attempting that. Like, it's cute, but, you know, you summon that, oh, look, I'm, you know, I'm 2900, and I'm gonna fuck my spells and traps, and any monster whose original rank is lower than me. But yeah, but you don't have that minus 100 that Towers had, so they just summon Dark Destroyer and run you over. Done. So. Yeah, I mean, mm -mm. <laughs> 3, I mean, 2100 defense is a reference to Seven Dragons, 2100 attack. Eh. Can you some battle of fusion? I already brought that up. Yeah. Banish and burn effect is mandatory. It also affects both graves. So, unless, like I said, unless you're going to get some machine type that you're probably not going to be burning for too much. It's to be banishing your own cyber darks and whatever other machines you're playing. So, man, a protection effect is slightly better than towers, as it also includes continuous monster effects as long as they're. Level rank is lower. I believe that tower wasn't affected by continuous effects either way, so I don't know what that. Hmm. On the other hand, I like towers. Uh, this is level nine, so it's relevant to the effects of level tens. Towers was also level slash rank tens. Towers was also affected by level rank tens because it was just monsters that were lower than it. This is that this monster is also affected by level and rank nines. So I don't know. Like I said, I, I play tower tribals. I've gotten my towers destroyed by. Onuchu plenty of times, because it's level 10, I'm gone, so, yeah, same weaknesses, I don't know, I don't like it, so he said any thoughts, so let's go ahead and read some thoughts, so, uh, at first, it seemed like they changed it, because it seemed like he, like, opinions changed, because the first one says, apart from Red Eyes and Cyber Dragon having no synergy, I like this card, so apparently it's supposed to be some kind of Red Eyes, Cyber Dragon fusion, whatever, we get to play Red Eyes and Cyber Dragon together, and I guess he changed it to Cyber Dark, Okay, I mean, that's much better than Red Eyes and Cyber Dragon, because that, that just sounds weird. <laughs> Alright, next person said, keep in mind you can use Red Eyes Fusion and use, what's CD? Cyber Dragon, I guess, and Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon from your deck to summon this card, you know, because it can only be, like I said, I, I'm, I'm assuming this is after the edits. Yeah, it's, it's, it's before the edits, and it seems like no one's really said anything after the edits, so I guess I'm like the first person to say something. Like I said, I just don't like the tower effect. I, I It's not really creative at all. It's just, it's kind of just like a, the first of dragons, where you just conveniently have some things in your graveyard, despite not really uh, having to, the synergy to go with it. They just happen to be cards in the graveyard, you get rid of them, and then, bam, you get to summon a dumb monster. It's just same, pretty much the same boat. Instead of banishing two normal monsters summoning Crusher Dragons, you're just banishing uh, a Cyber Dark and a level 7 or higher dragon to go ahead and just bust this out. You know, you could easily just toss in, like, a Cyber Dark. You know, you're already probably playing, like, Foolish in a Dragon deck that generally lets send to the graveyard. Maybe a Mathematician. Just go ahead and put the Cyber Dark in the graveyard. You're probably going to get a dragon in the graveyard eventually, and then, you know, dragons mirror it up, or, well, you know, overboard region it up, because it's not a dragon, but yeah, you get the same point. It's just like, wow, alright, it's kind of just meh. So, tell me what you guys think about this. The only reason why I wanted to read this card is because, you know, I wanted to give you guys a, another tower effect, because we all know how much we love uh, tower effect on cards. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this uh, uh, fake card Friday. Of course, I will be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and yeah, see you guys next Friday with another fight card to look at. Alright people, thanks for watching.